G'day you beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, crowd control in Paragon, whether that be hard CC like stuns or soft CC like slows, uh, and whether they are conducive to the uh, kind of the bottom line pitch for Paragon, which is the MOBA that puts you in the action. Uh, keep in mind, I am recording and posting this video before uh, the version 44.4 slash 5 patch notes come out, which may be coming out today. It may be tomorrow, but keep in mind, I'm probably going to be posting this two to three hours before the patch notes come live. So I don't know if anything has changed. I am actually hoping that some things have changed, uh, but just keep that in mind. So if you're going to enjoy this video, please smash the like button. Please leave me a comment and uh, let me know what you think about what we're about to talk about and subscribe if you're not already. So to start off with, let's just say that there is a lot of crowd control within Paragon. There is a lot of crowd control within MOBAs in general. Um, it's especially with the top-down MOBAs, the traditional MOBAs like League of Legends, Dota, um, you know, even stuff like Heroes of the Storm, any of those top-down MOBAs. Uh, I don't really feel like it's an issue that there's a lot of CC. Pretty much um, all all fighters or you know support characters are always going to have some form of CC or at least most of them um, so that's something that you're going to expect I mean getting rid of CC is not an option you can't get rid of CC off of a uh, support otherwise they have pretty much no use whatsoever if uh, say if you took Decker if she had no slow and no stun um, depending on what you uh, replace them with she would be pretty much useless no one would pick Decker uh, there would be no point in it. You always need to have CC, but my issue with Paragon at the moment is it just feels like, like I said before, it's not conducive to the outcome that they're looking for. Paragon is advertised as the MOBA that puts you in the action. Now, when I'm playing a match and I get stun locked uh, or max slowed um, and can't do anything, that does not equal to me great action. It's very annoying and boring. Um, and I don't really feel like it's even good to watch um, stun locks um, and you know CC chains um, compared to you know if you were to have a game where it was you know it was skill uh, individual skill and um, landing skill shots that uh, prevailed in a team fight rather than getting a pick by stun locking someone or having a team that's full of uh, say like Aurora Steel um, Gideon you know, just massive amounts of uh, CC that can just lock an entire team down for, uh, if with that combination, for probably upwards of uh, seven to eight seconds, uh, which is well enough time with the time to kill being so low to wipe out just about anyone. Maybe not a tank, but uh, most of the enemy team. Now, one issue that I really have is slows at the moment. I'm not a fan of the way that slows are working. We had a situation a little while ago where slows were stacking. Uh, and they were slacking, stacking to a point where the slow magnitude was humongous. And Epic themselves even recognized that it was an issue. So they stopped them from stacking. And they fixed that problem. And then a couple of weeks later, um, we got a week or two of this brilliant... Um, state of the game where soft CC was nerfed and it felt okay and then they gave everybody a slow and they upped the magnitude of everybody's slow Countess massive slow level 1 shadow slip um, Kalari's dagger humongous slow um, everything is just slow 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 and it's kind of lame and boring um, you know, we don't even have a situation where, apart from the fact that they've adjusted um, phase to be able to pull people out of CC, um, we don't even have cards for supports to remove CC from their team. Um, you know, there's, there's probably something in there that I'm not thinking of that you could use, but, you know, there's... We have, say, um, we have a stasis rune for self, and we have a card that will allow us to stasis both teams, which does not counter uh, the CC that's coming in. If an enemy team is coming in and they're about to smash three alts off, and you 
uh, stasis both teams. What is even the purpose in that? I really don't understand why that card is even a thing. It should be CCing, it should be stasising your team so that the abilities that are being used by the enemy team go completely wasted. And that would be a card that will get picked up on so many more supports. Putting a purify, purify card that a support can use, um, you know, say every 30 seconds to a minute to be able to remove crowd control from their carry would be another great thing. Um, just anything. I feel like the amount of stuns that are in the game right now are an issue because there is no counter to that CC except for more CC. If a Gideon comes in and ults your entire team for three and a half seconds, the only real option is to stun him out of it. And that's a stun that you've lost just to get rid of this ridiculously overpowered uh, whole team stun. Um, more so than the stuns, I really think that slows are an absolute problem right now. Um, I don't feel like carries should have slows. Um, in one way, it kind of detracts from Murdoch's um, Murdoch's passive, where he's able to uh, catch up to people. Um, you know, it should be a matter of if they don't have a getaway, if they don't have a pushback like Murdoch, uh, if they don't have a jump like Twin Blast, or you know, Wukong having so much um, maneuverability. I don't think those people should really have slows. Maybe Sparrow should have a slow. Um, maybe that would that would elevate her a little bit more than what she already is. Um, you know, Drongo is okay uh, with the way that he is right now. He doesn't really have a slow. He has a silence. Uh, he has a stun though. Why the hell does Carrie have a stun? I don't know. Why the hell is there a stun added onto Revenant? Um, you know, so many things that just they don't make sense. Um, you know, it doesn't make sense that Twin Blast's grenade slow. It doesn't make sense that um, Revenant's ultimate has a stun on it. It doesn't make sense that uh, Wukong can uh, stun or slow with certain abilities. Um, you know, the slow on his uh, offensive stance leap, where he slams his staff down, that, that kind of makes sense, that there'd be a little bit of a slow or a stun on there, maybe a stun, um, just a half a second stun would kind of make sense because you're a little bit dazed um, but a lot of a lot of choices to do with uh, CC and uh, hard CC like stuns and roots and slows the soft CC uh, it just seems like it's becoming a little bit too much it doesn't feel fun to play I don't feel like it's fun to watch I never enjoy watching someone on YouTube post a video where their team stun locks a couple of people and what get some kills i want to see them outplay the other heroes not by crowd control um i would love to see more cards introduced into the game that offer more of a variation to us because they counter cc if you're not going to get rid of all the cc give us stuff that counters it um you know give a give us a card for support that purifies a carry um give us a card as a support that will remove uh you know, remove more debuffs from the carry. There's a lot of cards that remove debuffs, um, which slows our debuff, uh, so I believe that does work. Um, but they, it doesn't generally help out your team. So when you when it comes to things like support, generally you're running, I don't know about everyone else, but my favorite deck at the moment is when we need wards, uh, have wards on, probably run Growth Totem or, you know, um, Godmother Vigilant, something along those lines, and Form of Grubbish, uh, which is a CC card. Practically, it's soft CC, it's, uh, it's practically silencing and uh, changing someone into a grub so they can't do anything. So the options that they're adding in for supports is more CC, and that's not something that we need. You can't just keep piling on CC into the game until all it is is CC. I don't want to see another hero come out that is just you know, 50% CC. I don't think it's conducive to the game that you're intending to make, to the, to the advertisement that you're making of this being the MOBA that puts you into the action. If you want to put me into the action and you want me to have an over-the-shoulder third-person perspective, don't make 50% of my game time me being stunned, in the stun locked. You know, maybe put a uh, 
soft cooldown uh, to how long it takes before you can be CC'd again. So then people will actually have to play smarter if a steel ults in on the enemy team uh, and then someone else has a stun like Rampage has a rock, he might have to wait two seconds before he throws that rock uh, because the stun is not going to do anything. You know, then if steel ults in and Gideon ults in, people might have a chance if they're at the edge of Steel's ultimate and Gideon's ultimate to actually walk out before they get stunned again. Uh, but that is my opinion anyway. Um, I know that CC definitely has a place in the game. Stuns and slows are part of a MOBA, they need to be in there, but I just feel like the direction that Paragon is supposed to be going in, um, at least what I assume is their vision, uh, Epic's vision, and what my vision is for the game is that it's unique. So we don't need to go down this same path that everything else goes down, where it's just CC chains and stuff like that. Um, give us, there, it has the advantage of actually being a third person uh, over the shoulder MOBA. I know that uh, Smite is also the same thing, but I feel like gameplay wise, uh, Paragon actually has a benefit on top of Smite in that it feels a lot smoother, it looks a lot better. Um, so why waste all of this great, all these great visuals um, and effects and stuff that you can put into the game by just having people watch someone get stun locked for 10 seconds? That doesn't. That's not fun. That's not action. Uh, no one wants to watch that shit, and no one wants to put up with it. Of course, it's fun when you deal with it. When I play Gideon, I love seeing the whole enemy team. It makes you feel amazing, like you've just accomplished something great. But it's not fun um, on the other team. It gets boring um, even when you're doing it. Like if we have a, uh, a team with, say, a Rampage, uh, a Kwong offlane, an Aurora support, um, and a Gideon mid, yeah, that's going to win games, but it gets so boring. Um, so I just really have an issue with CC at the moment. I'm hoping that something is going to change. I'm hoping that some stuff's going to change in the patch notes that are actually coming out. Um, because I feel like slow magnitudes are way too high, there is way too many slows in the game, there is way too much CC with too little to counter it with, uh, and something needs to happen, but I'd be happy to hear your opinion on the matter, so if you do have an opinion, please leave it in the comment section down below, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you're not already, but with that said guys, thank you so much for watching, I love your face, and I'll catch you in the next one, peace.